Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition with me, Bring It Down. So off camera, I turn on these sprite outlines. As someone had asked me in the comment section if uh, I had them turned on, and I swore that I turned them on when I, uh, before I actually started the Let's Play, but it, I guess I didn't because it wasn't on. I think what I did was when I clicked on it, I clicked here instead of here, because I swear that I turned this on, and then I just didn't notice that it wasn't on. But there you go. You can see the uh, the the characters a little more clearly now. At once. And let's head back to Baldur's Gate. Greetings, fellow rogues. Hey, Husum. Hey, guys. Remember me, your old bud Husum? Uh, it's so good to see you y'all again. Uh, lots has happened since you were gone. Heh <laughs> Yevin's hearing all sorts of things. I heard you guys are wanted for murders. Huh. So you're murderers, huh? Well, I still like you. Hey, I have some more info for you. Do you want to hear it? Uh, yeah, what do you have for us? Well, heh <laughs> Quite a bit I have. Quite a bit. Does he know about Duke Elton? He's diseased, he's is. His second in command, uh, Scar, got killed. Assassinated, he, he was. So that's it. I got to get going now. Uh, if you want to talk with me some more, just come by the Blushing Mermaid. See yous. You need me? I guess this dialogue was extraordinarily difficult to read. Alright. Oh, out loud. Alright, so we're going to go get arrested. I serve the flaming fist. Halt and hold. You stand accused of murder most foul. You'll lay down your arms and come with us. Or by order of Angelo Dosen, you'll be killed where you stand. Such is his order, and I cannot alter it. It is your choice. I am innocent, and I shall not submit myself to the judgment of this Angelo. Scar is your proper superior. That may be so, but Scar is dead, and Angelo is his proper replacement. We in the ranks have no other choice but to obey his orders, suspect though they may be. You must decide. Submit and face judgment, or fight here and die. I have no choice, but you do. Well, I have no wish to fight you. I am no murderer, and I welcome the chance to prove it. A wise decision. You have a fair chance to defend yourself, regardless of how convinced of your guilt Angelo is. This way. Commander Angelo Dosen, these are the ones wanted for the murder of the Iron Throne leaders. So, these are the infamous murderers, finally brought to justice. I am Angelo, Commander of the Flaming Fist. I'll be your judge, jury, and executioner. Please pardon the cliché. Alright, so this is actually my favorite one to respond with, but... That'll get one of our companions killed. I think it's always the fifth one. Oh, last time it was Dina Air, so I'm assuming it's going to be Dina Air again. Um. Hmm. It's a bit of a hassle having one of my companions killed. And then, in order to get all of her stuff back, because I can go get her resurrected, but then to get all of her stuff back, I have to break back in here and deal with the Flaming Fist again. If I kill any Flaming Fist, I lose reputation. So I basically have to come in, but they cast a bunch of spells at you. Uh, hold and stuff. So it's, it's a real hassle trying to get her stuff back. What I should have done was to put all of her stuff across my other companions. But I'm going to try and bribe him instead uh, so he doesn't kill one of my companions. But this is my favorite, favorite response. Anyway, uh, hey, come on now. Uh, we all know that you're in the employ of Saravok. We'll pay you more if you let us go. Addressing the greed in my soul, an admirable, an ab, admirable attempt, but one declined to fail. I'm not stupid enough to cross one such as Saravok. I reserve that stupidity all to you. Now that we are done with all the all of these pleasantries, I'll make my decision. I thought hard and long on what sentence I should give if you should be delivered into my hands. The choice is an obvious one. For the charges of murder, theft, arson, rape, and many other assorted crimes, I declare that each of you shall be taken to the bazaar, where you shall hang by the neck until you are dead. Huh? I'm here to help. Right, let me go talk to Neb. Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do. Hey, you. I wonder how you got out of your cell. Did someone leave it open? 
Or perhaps you managed to pinch my key. Oh no, you haven't. Haha. <laughs> so, are you the group that's wanted for murder on three different counts? Don't try to don't try to deny it. I know it's you. Well, haha. <laughs> my name's Neb. Uh, so why are you in prison, Neb? Haha. <laughs> I killed some little street urchins. They're such a clutter to the city, you know. They scream good too, especially the little girls. Filthy monster, shut your mouth. Hey, I was just trying to be friendly. So he has the key, and there's actually a puzzle you can do, but since he kills children, I'm just going to attack him. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Take my key and get lost. You're no fun. I was hoping to one-shot him, but yes, wasn't that lucky. Yeah. Alright, so let's go up this way. What I want to do is go to every area in the city. Actually, if we go down this way, I think there's someone that wants to talk to us. I had played through some of this uh, section in the last episode, but then I decided to play a little differently instead of coming straight back to the city. You need a new tailor. Your clothes are absolutely dreadful. All right, Kayla. Uh, such insolence. His popularity may be soaring, but I'll not cast a vote for a lout such as he. The nerve of the man. Uh, what is your trouble, milady? If it is any concern of your, if it is any of your concern, I am simply furious at that Saravok man. I did not raise a fortune in this city by letting such as he stroll off with my assets. I've had dealings with the Iron Throne Mercantile Group for some time now, and though I did not approve of some of their other ventures, they're at least honorable business people in their contracts with me. Now that Saravok leads them, he has all but de declared my previous deals null and void. Well, you'll get no sympathy from me if you lost gold dealing with a group like the Iron Throne. If I were not already incensed at Saravok, I'd stop it to tear a strip off of you two. As it is, I must speak with the Grand Dukes about Saravok's conduct. Imagine. He secures himself as leader of the Iron Throne, and then all but destroys its mercantile credibility by pra practically sacking it. He may be bolstering the city with its assets, but it is still unprofessional. Something strange is going on at that Iron Throne building, I tell you. I know their previous leadership was killed, but those members remaining would still never let such treatment come to pass. Not willingly, anyway. What could I do to help? So yeah, we want to head to every zone. Because we'll glean a little bit more information from someone in each area. So if we go back here. You need I'm here to help. Now the uh, Flaming Fist, they won't try to arrest us anymore. They'll only attack us on sight. Hello there. Hey, Delphir. Wait, I must speak with you. It's of utmost importance. Will you wait and listen? Uh, what is it you want? Uh, good then. I am Delphir. I re represent those who harp. I've been seeking you out for many weeks now. Uh, just recently I discovered that you had left the city some time ago. Things have changed since you were gone. I can tell you everything you need to know. Alright, that would be most welcome. The second in command of the Flaming Fist, Scar, was assassinated. Grand Duke Elton has come down with some mysterious ailment. No one knows how long he has to live. The most important news for, your concern, for you concerns your recent return to Candlekeep. You've been accused of murdering the leaders of the Iron Throne. Everyone believes that you are agents of Am. They think your persecution of the Iron Throne was just a cover-up for Am. Tensions run pretty high right now. The new Iron Throne president, Saravok, has placed a price on all of your heads. The Flaming Fist has a warrant for your arrest. Bef before I continue, tell me, are you guilty? I am. Yep, those scum deserved everything coming to them. Killing is never the answer to anything. Your father should have taught you that. Uh, nevertheless, it is in the past. We must talk of your future. For when our network is gathered, the Iron Throne is preparing to make a grab for power in Baldur's Gate. It would be in your best interest to investigate what they're up to. Perhaps if you could break into their citadel, you might learn something. I know these are very troubled times for you, but you know more about the Iron Throne than anyone else. If you have any questions for me, ask them now. I'll be gone for the next few days. Uh, who killed Scar? 
Uh, from the evidence found where he was murdered, it would seem like the Shadow Thieves killed him. I think that is far too convenient to lay the blame on that organization. I'd assume that the Iron Throne remains involved in some way. And who are the Shadow Thieves? The Shadow Thieves are an extensive organization of thieves and assassins that has power bases all along the Sword Coast. Uh, its main base of operation, however, is located in Om. Uh, what clues incriminated the Shadow Thieves? The signature mask and stiletto were left on Scar's body. Uh, what sickness has Elton come down with? So far, Elton's healer has been unable to discover what, what has been ailing him. It must be magical in nature. I find the whole affair rather strange. From what I know, Elton's healer Rashad was a priest of no mean faith and power. It is unusual that he has been unable to effect a cure for the Grand Duke. And that's it. Alright, if that is the last of your questions, then I must be off. If you must see me again, I'll be at the Three Old Kegs Inn. <laughs> Alright, so we learned some more information. Let's head north. Yes! What could I you need me? No time to chit chat. Oh, hey, Herschel. Hello, hello. I don't suppose you'd be interested in a few trinkets. A coin or two for my finely crafted wares? Eh, I thought not. The iron shortage wanes, but even so, the customers do not come back quite yet. Who can blame them, though? They are afraid because they see that the merchants are still without wares. Who believes that a shortage has ended when they still cannot hold a new blade in their hands? I blame the Iron Throne, I do. Many others do as well. I am not surprised. Their role in the iron shortage was pure villainy. Excuse me? Where have you heard such tales? As far as any are concerned in this city, the Iron Throne is a respectable mercantile group. Such talk as yours without proof will get you nowhere, I am sure. Uh, then what What did you mean? I'll sum up the Iron Throne's actions since Saravok has assumed control of it. He, he is disinterested and seems likely to sacrifice it to fund the rearming of Baldur's Gate, and thus, and thus his bid to become Grand Duke. It is the Iron Throne's instability which has prolonged a strife in this city, and that is why other our merchants blame them. They are major importers, and without their help it will take much longer to reassure people that all is well. It makes no business sense that they should do this, and I think there is something very wrong at their headquarters. Huh? I'm here to help. So further reinforcing what everyone else has said, go to the Iron yeah, Throne headquarters. But I think there's a specific course of action we have to take. I thought there was a... no, there's not. Because we also want to save Duke Elton, and I thought that was a side objective. It might be a primary objective, we'll see. You need me? <laughs> yes! Gather your party before venturing <laughs> forth. Whoopsies. I'm here to help. At once. What could I do to help? You need me? Also, if you want to fight the Flaming Fist, you can, uh, without losing reputation. I think if you unequip all of your weapons, you can use your fists to knock them unconscious. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Well, that's a hassle. So the blushing mermaid is right here. Let's go see if we can't talk to what's his face again. Huh, you're a queer fellow. Huh? At once. Oh, there he is. Greetings, hello, rogues. Alright, uh, hey again. It's me, Hewson. I gotta talk to you. Uh, just follow me. Okay, show us where you want us to go. Yes! At once. 
Uh, sorry for misleading you, uh, but there are times when subtlety works better than honesty. My associates and I don't want to fight, so we could ease the tension if all of us uh, sheathed our weapons. Okay, we don't want to fight either. We'll give you a chance to explain yourself. The truth this time. In case you didn't notice, a bunch of shadow thieves popped up. Okay then. First off, my name really is Hewson. I've never owned a business in Baldur's Gate. My associates and I belong to an organization called the Shadow Thieves. I'm sure you've heard of us. I'm here in the gate because of the lies being spread about our organization and the nation of Am as a whole. I'm sure you're aware of how we're framed as Omni Omnian assassins while in Candlekeep, or how the deaths of Duke Antar Silvershield and Commander Scarlet blamed on the Shadow Thieves. Well, we had nothing to do with it. It seems that someone is going through a lot of trouble to create a feeling of animosity between Baldur's Gate and Am. Am has never been interested in a war with this city, and has definitely not been responsible for all the troubles in this region. All of that can be placed squarely upon the shoulders of the Iron Throne, or more specifically, Saravok. Now that I've told you who I am, perhaps you, uh, you can tell me who you are. Uh, we're just mercenaries. I've been hired by Duke Elton to investigate the Iron Throne. Mercenaries, huh? Well, your employer isn't in the best of shape right now, so perhaps you need some help. And how did you plan on helping us? I've been tracking the movements of two night masks who've been operating in the city over the past few weeks. I'd say they were responsible for framing the past several murders of the Shadow Thieves. I know they've been staying at a place called the Undercellar. How about we pay them a visit? No thanks, we have other things uh, to do other than- oh wait, uh, uh, what? My mouth stopped working. Alright, uh, no thanks, we have other things to do uh, than track down assassins, but we're not sure what. Anyway, show us the way. Just follow us to the Elmater Shrine. It, it has one of the entrances to the Undercellar. What could I- Should be right here. I'm here to help. Does it? At once. There we go. Lying? Causing terror and murder? Those are my pastimes. Uh, here we are. The entrance is just in the back. We'll stay up here and run interference. The, the two you're looking for are named uh, Slyth and Kristen. Talk to the priest of Ilmater in the temple. He'll get you into the Undercellar. Uh, meet us up here when you've dealt with the assassins. So I'm curious, are these guys me? evil by chance? Just hew some At once. The other shadow thieves or not. Uh, arms, arms for the poor. Uh, suffer long, this unholy flesh. Uh, yeah, unholy flesh, is it? Uh, yet, is not flesh a thing of beauty, created in the very image of the divine? The divine, heavenly thighs, the ruddy locks of Sune herself. Aye, there, bit of, there be a bit of the divine in each succubus, Arrhenius, or Alu fiend. The Nine Hells are full of good men and women burning in the very flames of their fallen passion. And who is Sune? Sune, Lady Firehair, the goddess of passion. I met her in her earthly form in, a, in an establishment near here. And where might this establishment be? Shush. You must, you must tell no one. It's called the Undercellar, and I have a, a secret passage from my quarters. Would you like to see? Uh, yes, I would be most interested. Come with me, then. Yes, at once. Alright, let's find... Look at Kristen, honey. It's the heroes of the Sword Coast. They're what? Real deal. Well, 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 dear. What have we here? Blade fodder? I don't know, Slythe. They're so big and threatening. Oh, my mistake. I was thinking of someone else. Oh, she's got a tongue of steel and a heart of gold, my Kristen does. She's so pretty that she makes herself all invisible so guys don't give her hassle. Not that they would not that they would with a tough guy like me looking after her, of course. Slythe baby, you tell them, honey. Oh baby, you know me. You know your Slythe. Or Slifey. Hey, or hey you, don't you get watching us all 
go all mushy, all right? It ain't none of your business. What's that you're whispering, sweetheart? Hey now, my girl Kristen tells me that yous all have a soft spot for the Grand Dukes. Sure is a shame about Antar's silver shield, isn't it? One down and two to go, poor Dukes. Uh, wouldn't it Wouldn't it have been better if they all had died together? Bah, Kristen, don't give it all away like that now. It's on, what do they call that again, the silver bladder? Uh, enough of this cat and mouse stuff, anyhow. I ain't cut out for it. We kill him now and do the Dukes after lunch like Saravok like Saravok said set us to. What? Hmm. I love I love you for your mind, Slythe. What can I do to help? What you want this way? You need me? Oh, I really not in Only this. what you deserve. Yep. So I'm having a lot of trouble reading uh dialogue huh? this episode. But it doesn't help that they're giving me like some really weird dialogue to read. Where's she at? Yes. What can I do to help? All right, there we go. Whatever they need. go. Oh, a dagger I can't identify. Interesting. I'll leave one of these behind. I don't need that. Or I do. There we go. You need me? Huh? At once. They wish my ear. Try this again. The short sword I can't identify. All right, let's give those to him. Yes. All right, now let's read these letters. All right. A slife. The time to strike is now. When the party commences on the night of my coronation, you will join up with my doppelganger assassins at the sewer entrance to the palace. You are to insinuate yourself into the crowd in the ballroom. When I finish my speech, you will strike. If you aren't there, my doppelgangers will proceed without you, and your payment will be forfeit. Make sure to keep a leash on your little female dog of a wife. An invitation to the party is included with this note. Saravok. This looks to be an important note, one that you should hold on to. Then invitation. This is an invitation to the inauguration of the newest Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate. It will be held at the Ducal Palace. Present this invitation to the guard at the gate, and you will be allowed entrance. And another note we need to hold on to. Okay. Let's go back and talk to Hewsome. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Hey, sexy. Do you want to take a look at me, diddies? <laughs> so, yeah, at your diddies? This is where I wanted to go. <laughs> I guess I'll have a lot of choice. At once. You must gather your party before venturing forth. At once. Alright, get back and talk to Husum and then. I know there's more people to talk to. I don't remember how to do Duke Elton's quest. It might just automatically be done with a... Uh... A lot of the main quest. I'm here to help. Lying. Causing uh, terror and murder. Those are my pastimes. How did you fare? Uh, we killed both of them. Good. Did you find anything on their bodies? We found several documents spelling out their next assassination. They were to join with a group of doppelgangers to kill the two remaining Grand Dukes during the election. 
but also found an invitation to Saravok's coronation on their bodies. That's happening tonight. If they succeed, Saravok will have seized control of the entire city. We should move immediately. We have to get to the Dukes before it's too late. Oh, we must gain entrance to the palace. You can use the invitation you found. The re rest of us will see if we can gain access to the sewers of the city. I don't know how successful we'll be, so it's really up to you, Donald. You need me? I'm here to help. So I don't know if that is actually a timed quest or not. So I need to go to uh, three old kegs, which I thought was down here. Nope. <laughs> Here. I'm here to help. Have I not been down here? Whoopsies. I care not. I am gone. Huh? I'm here to help. Well, hey, let's clear out this house real quick. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Yes, hey, Fenton. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Uh, just back from an on cake frenzy across the river in a bit south. They're one of, they're one of their boom cycles, I guess. With iron all shot to hell, there's a good market for onkeg armor these days. Bring me back a good batch of scales, and I'll pay you richly for them. Just go on down there and talk to Gerd. She'll fill you in on what to do. Okay, well, we've already done that what quest, so. I'm gone. I've done had enough of this. at once I'm here to help regardless I don't think this is where I need to be yeah no it's uh maybe it's in the center I don't know where three old kegs is supposed to be yet I don't like how it. Let's try to open up the map when I first enter an area. At once. Oh, who's Kovar? Let's talk to him. You need something, stranger? Hi, friend. I have nothing to say to you. Out of my way. You need me? Hi, right, Brennan Risling. Hey, yep. Every tension's rising between us and Om. There'll be war soon, and plague and pestilence. Better them than us, I say. Plague and pestilence? What from? From war, of course. What else do you think would follow in its wake? That's why we need Saravok as Grand Duke, for he take the resources from the Iron Throne and assist us. Attack first, and fight the war on their soil rather than our own. As I told you, better them than us. Huh? I'm here to help. Alright, where is... Ugh, I hate that. When you first enter the a new area, we try to open up the map. I'm and, uh, here to help. It closes it. <laughs> Alright, where the heck is the three old kegs at? Is it here? Yep, on the other side. Oh boy. Are there sewers? Yep, I'm right there. Alright. Wait for the sewers. Head east and try and get to three old kegs so we can talk to uh Delthier. I'm here to help. Don't follow me down here, what are you doing? I think he could follow you into the sewers. That's inconvenient. Alright, fine. You know what we'll do? I need a wand of paralyzation. It's this one? Oh, that's what I already equipped. Alright, perfect. Yes, at once. I will enjoy being paralyzed in the sewer. Your party before venturing forth. 
<laughs> I serve the flaming fist. All right, Sorrel, let's talk. Donald, where have you been? I had some business to attend to back home, but I fear that same business has drawn me back to the gate. Well, keep your head down before they clip it from your shoulders, fool. People are saying you killed the leaders of the Iron Throne. There's a goodly price upon your head, don't you realize? A price on my head? And you'll not take it? There's trouble in the fist, Donald. Big trouble. Duke Elton's fallen sick, and Scar was killed. Supposedly in a simple robbery, but I have my doubts. It's all Angelo. He's making a power grab, taking control of the fist, and, with Scar out of the way, there's nothing to stop him. I've seen him paying visits to the Iron Throne, too. And I don't like it one bit. There's some of us that are still loyal to Elton. Lucky for you, I happen to be one of them. Please, for your sake and ours, keep your head down, and, if you get the chance, sniff around the Iron Throne space. You find a way to talk to Duke Elton, even better. But they're keeping him in the middle of a Fist headquarters. Darn it. Angela will pay dearly for this, and I hope it's soon. What could that? Uh... All right. Whatever they need. You need me? <laughs> Another paralyzed enforcer. Let's see if we can't find Delphi real quick. Where's Bellamy? We need to talk to him. Delphi, what's going on, man? Oh, hello again. It's me, Delphier. Hope things have been going well. I have much to tell you. Have you investigated Duke Elton's mysterious illness? I suggest that you investigate Rashad, his personal healer. Rashad leaves the Flaming Fist barracks every night. Follow him and see if there's any truth to my suspicions. Alright, can I? I cannot. Okay, yes. well. <laughs> At once. Alright, so we have to be around the Flaming Fist compound for a couple of things. I think I'm going to call the episode here. Now let me... Don't attack him. Alright, I'm going to call it here, and in the next episode we will see about following Rashad and uh, saving Duke Elton. Then we'll do the Iron Throne Headquarters. And then we'll attend the party at the Ducal Palace. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode. Get out of here. Alright, anyway, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'll just reload and avoid fighting this guy.